the UES Safe Travels. Last known coordinates of the UES Contact Light. Hey everybody, I'm Tegan. Uh, welcome to Risk of Rain 2. This game has a story now. It's cool. We're here, Captain. The distress beacon came from this exact coordinates. It's a cool cutscene. Reminds me of the ori ori original Risk of Rain and its ship. This planet isn't on any star maps we know. This area isn't even on route. Or route. I decide which. I'm the captain. Any visuals on the contact light? No, sir. Just a breeze. Or debris. Whether or not you say the S is also decided by the captain. Any signs of survivors? No, sir. Bioscanner is dark. Sir, the distress beacon. It mentioned... It mentioned a lot. Monsters and fighting and... Sir, do you think we're ready? Sir? Okay. Interesting introduction. Uh, so I guess that's... Were the survivors of the contact light, or... I'm still a little confused, but welcome to Risk of Rain 2. This game is now a full 1.0 game, not an early release game, so cool. I'm excited. I love this game. I guess I'll have to play it multiplayer with my friends later, but I'm going to play it single player for now. And, uh, huh. Well, I mean, since it's 1.0, maybe I should go back to playing the Commando. Although my favorite character, I kick ass as a loader. I know I kick ass as a loader. And tell you what, I'll play my first round as a Commando just because it's the default thing to do. And I should have... Oh no, I haven't unlocked the new abilities for the Commando, so yeah. Okay, so I need to do these things. Yeah, this will give me something to do. Okay, Rolling Thunder. As a Commando, land a killing blow on an overloading worm to get a new secondary skill. I can roll, but if I... Fully charge the first stage teleporter before the timer hits five minutes. Okay, I can do that. And then I can get a... Uh... So, five minute first round, and then I get a new roll. That, that I can easily do. I don't know about that. Killing an overloading worm. Overloading worms are hard, so that might not be easy. Uh, and then a new special ability if I can clear 20 stages without picking up lunar items. But I love lunar items, especially the glass. But I... Okay, fine. No gifts from the moon daddy. That is fine. Alright. Let's go. The old Titanic planes. Alright, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Alright, fire! Rapid fire! I forget my old mobilities, but I'm running. I'm looking for the portal. Ah, there, there's the portal. See the red... Okay, as an experienced player of this game, here's some things I can teach you if you're new to the game. If you see little firefly-looking things, that's where the exit is. That's where the portal is. So if you don't see the portal directly, you can look for the little fireflies. And you can, uh... You can get there faster, so that's how I'm going to get that first objective. Alright, activating portal within 30 seconds. Brilliant. I'll activate the portal in 30 seconds or less, and then I'll destroy you, Titan. Alright, Titan. Owie! Okay, I thought I dodged it, but I did not. So, uh, it's Stone Titans. Pretty rough for a boss whenever you fight them. They have two basic... Ooh, ooh getting a lot of little troops. A lot of little troops coming in. So... The Stone Titan has two moves. He will zap you with a laser and he'll punch you. He'll punch you from the ground. Oh boy! Ah. Ooh. How dare you! How dare you additional golems. Alright, I'm just gonna have to kill the additionals before I kill the boss. This is getting rough. I thought I dodged that fist, but I... Okay, I gotta mode. I gotta run! I gotta run! I gotta run! Frickin... Ooh! Oh, frickin... Frickin lasers, frickin golems. Okay, I gotta recharge. Ooh, oh, oh, I got touched. Oh, I'm nearly dead. I'm nearly dead. Oh, the golem almost punched me. I've been hit by every single punch. Alright, I gotta back off. I gotta back away from the, the the charge up. No, you don't! Ooh, that fist, that fist, that fist. That fist, though. That fist, though! Okay, I'm just gonna run. Just gonna run. Gonna get back in the zone. No, you don't with your predictive nonsense. 
Ooh, okay, okay, just run, just run, just run, just run, just run, and... Ooh, I didn't quite roll. Roll! Run and roll and roll and run! Oh god, oh no, fist! Okay, I'm back in the zone, I'm back in the zone, back in the zone, oh god. This is a little bit rough. The golem is a very fr rough first boss, and I was not taking him seriously. Alright, there's an audio cue. I gotta remember that, there's an audio cue for that fist. Remember that. Remember that, kids. I gotta remember that myself, I'm, I'm saying that for myself. Okay, fist! Ooh! No, you don't. You're not hitting me with that fist again. Ooh, call him, call him, call him. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, you freaking, oh, you freaking wisps. I'm a one health. Run! Not that way! Okay, okay, I'm not gonna get the five minute mark, am I? That's fine, that's fine. Just don't die, just don't die, just don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, you freaking wisps. I refuse to give up on the five minute victory. Oh, freaking call him. Freaking golem! No, freaking punches. They're just spawning in a lot of extra golems. Ooh, and wisps. Okay, I gotta take out more opponents more quickly. I'm just not shooting. I'm just running. I'm having to consistently run because I'm low health. I didn't. I didn't buy any items. That's what I didn't do. I should buy some items first before I could do this. I'm too used to being the loader. The loader is awesome. Okay, run, 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 run. Dodge! Oh no, no! This is the end for me. Ah! Dodge! Jump! Jump! Oh, it's not the end! It's not the end! It's not the end! Jump! 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 Woohoo! Oh my god! I am not giving up yet. I am not giving up, Golem. Oh, the beam! The beam! He's gonna use the beam! Ooh! 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 Oh no, the fist! Oh, the fist and the beam! The beam and the fist! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, the struggle is real! Oh no, it's not anymore! Okay, okay, I need to adjust myself. I was not prepared for that nonsense. Okay, I said I'd do one round as a commando, but I died too fast. So we're gonna do one more round as a commando. I'm I'm rusty, I'm crusty, and I'm out of control. Here we go, one more round. <laughs> that was exhilarating. All right, try again. I, I okay, just just buy something. It's funny because I talked like I knew what I was doing. I mean, I I held out at least. I mean, I found the portal fast. But, honestly, it's been forever since I played as a commando, so... I mean, the, playing the default commando, the default character, it's not easy. I have been spoiled being the loader. That's... that's what I am discovering. You, you spoiled loaders. Remember... remember your roots. Remember how it was being a commando. Captain Commando. Okay, okay. So where is the exit? I gotta... I still want to do it fast. But I'm gonna buy at least one power-up. Where? Okay. Look for red. Look for red. Okay, I'll buy... I'll buy from this shop. I gotta look for the sparkling fireflies. Because to beat the first stage within five minutes, so you need to be pretty fast. I'll take a shield. Shields are nice. That's health that recharges... ...faster than your... your... your normal health. Well, it acts like shields in other games. It's just very small, though. Very small. Extra health. I will take that to the bank. And then, uh... Teddy Bear. Yes, I'm taking defensive items today. The Teddy Bear saves your life, too. You hug it. And it will get you through. Okay. So now who's my boss? Who's the boss? It's the Beetle Queen. Okay, I can handle the Beetle Queen. It's not as bad as the Giant Golem. The Giant Golem's the worst. Oh, maybe not. I mean, the the jellyfish is pretty bad, too. The giant golem can be one of the worst. I'm much better at this beetle queen, as you can see. The beetle queen... Beetle queen is really nasty if you get hit by that full shotgun effect it has, because it fires a spread at you. And, uh... Also, lots of beetles, but I don't think beetles are actually that scary. It's just the beetle queen herself and her, her rapid fire. I mean, her spread shot. Alright, I'm gonna focus right now. Okay, so recommendations. I'm gonna try- I'm still gonna try to off grab teaching uh, moments if I can. So the Beetle Queen fires a spread, and you can see her kind of foam at the mouth before she fires. She like charges up and then fire. So, keeping that in mind, she tends to fire in waves. So just be prepared for- watch her charge up and then dodge when she fires and generally you'll be okay. And also, try not to be real close up to her, 
when she fires a wave, because if you get by the full sh the full spread, you can take each of those bullets does massive damage. So if you get hit by all of them, if you're at point blank, it's just so nasty. So just for the Beetle Queen, dire warning to players who use melee against the, the Beetle Queen. Oh, did, what? She gained health? How'd she heal? How'd you heal? She gained health. I just watched her gain health. Who dares heal the Beetle Queen? All right. Real gun shots. Pierce through them all. Okay. Okay. So the teleporter's all charged up. I just need to beat the boss, and then I can leave this this realm and get the five-minute thing and get the new skill. So die already. Die already, Beetle Queen. There we go. Commando Godspeed. Oh, you don't even need to go through the portal. Hooray. Okay, so I can do some shopping. All right. So I got that. Commando Godspeed. I am the legendary Godspeed. Ooh, a ukulele, you say? Okay, ukulele. Hooray. I needed an attack weapon. Uh, attack booster. Wow, that's a lot of noise. That's a lot of noise coming from that side of the side, side of things. All right. I'm out. I'm out. See ya. I'm out. So with the ukulele... You get various relics, and the ukulele causes lightning to chain from opponent to opponent when I hit things. It procs or activates semi-randomly. But boy, is that awesome. Wait, I did hit the button to go, right? Go, 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 go. Get me out of here. Yes, okay, I did. It just takes a second to go. And then they're all just standing around like, oh, guess we don't have anything to do now. All right, the abandoned aqueduct. It's really cool. You get, like, if you look at my character, you can see the ukulele on my back. And, like, the other things, the shield item. You, every relic you find goes on your body. You can actually see it on your character. Like, I've got a flashbang on my leg, and... I don't know where a shield generator is. Probably in my belt somewhere, but... Each character has different locations that they put the relics. And as you power up and get more relics or artifacts or whatever they're called... Uh, you, you just cover yourself with more stuff. And it just... It looks neat. I like it. It's a nice touch. I've liked that kind of thing ever since the game Diablo. Diablo 1, where your your character would show the gear they've got on them. Ooh, okay. So in this stage, there are these plates. And if you can press both plates, you can get to a secret stage. Normally you have to do it in multiplayer. I don't know how to do it in a single player. Can I push these pots? Not really. Okay, these are explosive pots, so they could get me killed. Only, like, the engineer can press both plates. Sometimes there's only one plate that gets you to the secret stage, or secret area. Anyway, so that's a multiplayer secret. If you can find both plates in this stage, you can get to a fun secret area. It open up. It opens up a door that's over yonder, over in this direction. You'll see, like, a hidden door shut over there. And so press both plates. Bob's your uncle, you're in. But, uh, sadly I can't do that because I'm not the engineer. Only the engineer can do it by himself by placing a, a turret on one of the plates. Sometimes there's only one plate. There's, like... And then you're, you can get through, but it looks like there's two plates today, so I cannot do it as a single player. Ooh, mushrooms, you say? All right, I will take one of these. So this is an item printer. It takes items and exchanges them for an item of your choosing, or the item it prints out. Or it takes, it takes a random one of your items and turns it into the item indicated. So this turns any white level item, a common item, into a mushroom, which is cool. And these mushrooms heal me if I if I sit still. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm explaining too much, but the game just came out, so I'm expecting there to be a lot of new players to the game, and I figure I can at least teach some basic things. So, yeah, I, I apologize if, it, if I'm over explaining things a bit. You, there's like because there's a lot of experienced players too. Anyways, I guess for now, just enjoy the show. I'm gonna focus on playing a bit. Oh, so here's a bigger chest. I'm more likely to get ooh, a green level item. Green level items are better, and red whip makes me run fast. Hooray. All right. That's a lunar pod. I'm not going to activate that because I don't want to get lunar items. There's an achievement. I have to avoid those for the achievement, so otherwise I totally activate that pod. My favorite items are in the pod. Ooh, boy. Clay Dune Strider. Oh, 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 oh. Wisps. I don't like these wisps. I gotta take these wisps out. Ooh, flaming enemies. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Oh god, oh god, run away. No, not there. Whoa, I almost jumped down a pit. Okay, so these these flaming enemies are jerks because they burn you. They burn you when they hit you. Extra damage. They're elite enemies. So, uh, yeah, elite enemies in general are just tougher enemies that have special effects on their attacks, but 
the flame ones just deal extra damage and they just hurt so bad. I hate them, so take them out first. They are a great source of pain and they must die. I have learned to deal with additionals. Also, wisps. Wisps are just really annoying. I just hate wisps in general because they are hard to avoid their attacks. They don't deal a ton of damage by themselves, but... Like, it's easy to avoid other enemies. Like, the lizards, easier to avoid. Beetle beetles, easier to avoid. But it's hard for me to dodge the, the wisps. They're above you. They're easier to forget about. And they just have a direct... They have a very high velocity attack. The projectile velocity is, like, almost instantaneous. Or is it? I think it is instantaneous. That's the thing. Like... It just makes them way more accurate. As an opponent, Wisps are way more accurate than other opponents, and that inherently makes them deadly and hated for me, because I'm, I'm good at avoiding other stuff, generally speaking. Generally speaking. And so Fire Wisps, they're very accurate, and they deal that extra damage over time. It makes them... It's a nasty combination. Fire Wisps are just a nasty combination, as is. All right, I will, des I will destroy you, Fire Wisps. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay. Those ground projectiles. Railgun! Oh, I missed with my railgun. Railgun! I have not been firing my railgun at full, full rate of fire, have I? Probably not. Ow! Okay. This Clay Doomstrider's projectiles hurt a lot. Whoa, whoa. No, you don't. Oh, you're gonna try to consume your friends, are you? Well, I didn't leave you that many friends to consume, so... It's a famine. Feast or famine? Today's a famine for you. This guy cannibalizes his friends to heal himself. It's actually pretty annoying. Luckily, I didn't leave him many friends to, to eat, so... Victory for me. Ooh, Hapu Feather! Or Hapo Feather. Ha or is it Hapu or ha Hopu? Hopu. I don't know, it's an extra jump! It's a hopping feather. And it makes me happy. How much money I got? 290. Okay, I'm gonna quickly try to look for things that I have not... Chests I have not bought and purchase them. So, uh, okay. For those of you who are new to the game, by the way, in the upper right corner, there is a meter. It shows the difficulty level of the game. I mean, there's also a difficulty level you choose at the beginning of the game. But, as time goes on, the difficulty level of this game also increases, so... It is something you want to... Time is not on your side. You power up. You, you gain power as you play, but I gain levels and I gain stuff that powers me up. But if I take too long, the enemies will get tougher too. So you want to, like, move quickly in this game. Which is why I'm very, very quickly looting this stage and getting on with life. But, you know, it's fun. It, the, it, it makes the game fun because it keeps you moving forward and makes the games faster. Generally. I mean, games of this... If you do really well, the games can still last for a long time. Ooh, Paul's Goat Hoof! I can move faster, which is good, because time is not on your side, so moving faster actually is very beneficial in this game. There's a lot to be said for higher, having higher movement speed. Alright, I'm gonna have more money than I have, like, things to buy, and that's okay. Any unspent money becomes experience. Ah, there's a chest. Whenever you hear that squeaky noise, that's my teddy bear preventing a hit. Ooh, another personal shield for me, and more chests. Okay, cool. Oh, just one chest, that's dead beetles. Oh, hey, you. Guess I forgot to kill you. We'll remedy that in one second. Anything back here? Just a bunch of vases. All right, or vases, I don't know, let's go. I don't know how to pronounce anything right. Or I guess there's just so many, so many words that there's just multiple pronunciations of. That's the reality. Oh yeah, that's the red whip. So if I don't attack for a little bit, I get the red whip making me move faster. Which is a bit vexing because the dodge roll is considered an attack action, right? So if I use the dodge roll, I can move faster with the dodge roll, but it will in turn make me move slower because the red whip will deactivate. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk. Because the dodge roll... I'm not sure. I don't think the dodge roll will benefit me as much as the red whip does. For speed-wise. If that makes sense. I think... I think the red whip is considered a combat action. Let me check. I'm running this fast. I roll. Maybe not. 
I know whenever you hear the whip sound effects, the red whip is active. But it's hard to check. Maybe there's also some other significance. Oh, I'm making enemies bleed now, too. Hooray! I've got the bleeding dagger. That will be useful. Alright, I better find the exit. Oh, there's the exit. Okay, well, easy done. Easily done, okay. Double jump and roll in the air. I know falling damage deactivates the whip. Alright, let's fight that boss. So today's boss is the Grove Tender. He throws wisps at you. Stop it. Stop it with the wisps. Luckily with the ukulele, the wisps aren't so bad. Oh, and he has a thing for chains. Wisps and chains. That's his, that's his thing. Ooh, owie. Okay, the chains I, I'm having a little trouble with. Oh, I'm getting... Okay, okay, okay. The wisps and the chains. Okay. Oh, and there's a machine gunner. Okay. Uh, withdraw. Tactical withdraw. Tactical withdraw. I'm taking too much fire here. I'm taking too much fire. Ooh, oh, 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 the wisps are holding in around the corner. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Underestimated this guy. I underestimated this guy. All right, all right. Okay, Imp, I see you. Go away. I want to heal. I want to heal here and you will prevent me with your teleporting nonsense. Okay, okay. Activate mushrooms, go! You back off. Back off, you. I'm getting healed by healing mushrooms. Oh, I'm no longer getting healed by healing mushrooms. Ah, okay. Back away, wisps. Stop it. Alright, good enough. My shields are up. I got a little healing, I guess. Alright, let's take out this Grove Tender. Ooh, that machine gunner is dynamite. Those machine gunners. This, These stages have machine gunners, and, uh... I would say the machine gunners are very comparable to the heavy in Team Fortress 2. <laughs> really. Uh, except for their turn speed is a little bit slow, but think of them like that. They just walk around, it's just a guy with a machine gun, uh, like a minigun, and he just revs up and then starts destroying you really fast, and he's annoying as heck. Can't low turning speed, though, so if you get close to him, you can juke around him. Whoa, that's a lot of wisps, I need to get rid of the wisps. Ah, oh, 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 machine gunner, oh no, oh no, this is bad. Oh, I gotta get rid of the wisps, I gotta get rid of the wisps, Wid of rid of the wisps. Instead of waiting with a wait. Just die. Just die. Good God. I don't need to say it right. I just need to spray it right. I just need to spray it tight. I mean, make them dead. <laughs> this is getting rough. Enemies will continue to spawn until I get the, the, the portal to 99%. So, getting in the portal zone is actually a worthy action. Even though it's the danger zone. Freaking imp clawing me. You clawing, cloying monster! Okay, I gotta get rid of this gunner, he's a nightmare. Ooh, dodge to the side! Oh god, that's a lot of wisps! Ooh, oh, did I knock off his mask or something? No, there's just a coin. Oh, that gunner. Ooh, that gunner. Ooh, that gunner's gonna get it. Believe you me. Okay, just gotta keep pecking. Just gotta keep pecking at this boss. That's all. I'll get him eventually. I'll get you eventually. You'll see. You'll see, Wisp. You'll see, Wisp Tender. Ooh, I'll make all your bolts go into the ground. Or I'll just make them be right after me. That'll work, too. This machine gunner is so damn tough. Die already. Die. Ah! Ooh, that's so many imps. Those imps claw you really hard, so I can't let them get me. They teleport at you. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage waiting to hit me if I screw up. So I cannot. I cannot screw up. I cannot mess up my evasion right here. This is getting all kinds of tense. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh no, oh no. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Take falling damage. Ooh, ooh. You don't die if you fall off the cliff, but you do take falling damage. Okay. Nope, stop it, stop it, stop it. Thank you, Hapu Feather. The Hapu Feather's really saving me right now. Oh, oh. Where's that gunner? Did I kill him? I guess I killed him. Oh, the portal's at 99%. Cool. Any enemies I kill now will stay dead. The enemies won't keep respawning. All right, all right, success. Back off, back off. If I back off, I can I can just achieve success by just thinning out their numbers now. All right, good, all right. Just kill them, kill as many as I can. I'll just, I'll just put railgun rounds right through them all. 
Railgun rounds are my friends. Thin out, thin out the numbers. Thin out the numbers. You can always win eventually. But I am not killing the enemy fast. And so the difficulty level is going to get a lot harder because I didn't do things fast on this stage. Which I'm, I'm concerned. I, I didn't take enough attack artifacts. But that's okay. That's okay. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So many projectiles. You have so many projectiles I have to contend with. That hurts. Okay, I got the boss. Ooh, my hand's shaking. I need to readjust my mouse. I was moving my mouse all over the place. All right, that was intense. That was a whole bottle of intensity. And I get a shield. I need an attack item, but hey, that's cool. Reduce incoming damage while sprinting. All right, let's loot this stage. Considering how long I took, I probably should have got the power-ups before I fought the boss. But hey, that's okay. Works out anyway. And also, since I had, like, the intense mode going on the whole time, I think I fought more enemies overall, so I kind of gained more experience that way. It's silver linings. Ooh, I get an item. It's Milky Chrysalis. Temporary flights item. Cool. That'll save my butt. I, I would like an attack item, though. I'd like an attack. So there's an item slot. And now I got an item for him. Leeching Seed. A uh, really good healing item. Again, I need attack items, though. I need to deal more damage. My damage is a bit low, but Leeching Seed is a really good one, so... I can't say I'm an unhappy, but... I want attack items. Oh, whoops, that's an incinerator drone. Well, actually, they say they buffed drones. They used to not be as good, but... So... That wakes! Okay, all my money's spent. Let's go home. I see there's other chests, but I don't have enough money for them. Or do I? Oh, I will if I kill that... Kill that monster, maybe. There's one monster left. Hey, you! Hey, you! Give me money! Yeah! Give me money! Thank you! Alright. I got money! Enough for... Ooh! Green item in a normal chest! Razor wire! Yes, that helps you deal damage. Alright, double jump in a roll, and I can get there without using my wings. Although now I can fly occasionally. That'll be fun. Alright. Now the difficulty of the game is very hard. On to stage four. All right, uh, Siren's Call. There is an extra boss here that you can fight. Optional boss, very tough. Not gonna be doing it today. The, the optional boss requires massive attack power and his health gets crazy tougher uh, for every difficulty level. So if I had high attack power and the difficulty wasn't too high, I'd do it, but this time, no. You will see eggs all over the place though. If you kill the eggs, you will call the friend of the Sirens to fight you. Although I think I've heard in the patch notes that they've, like, nerfed that crazy, crazy boss a bit. He's still pretty crazy, crazy. Ooh, printer. Ooh, printer's for a... Oh, I can't do it anymore because I activated this. But there's a printer for a gas can. That's an offensive weapon. I will activate that. All right, so our opposing boss is now two wandering vagrants. That's two jellyfish. They're not so bad. I can handle this. I can handle this. The Wandering Vagrant has one really, really nasty thing about it, though. And that is that it will unleash a devastating wave of destruction when it reaches half health. So, when fighting Wandering Vagrants, be prepared to avoid these waves when they get to half health. Just be forewarned. You'll see what I'm talking about. The And then this wave of destruction, the only way to uh, avoid damage is to, uh, like, prevent line of sight. So... You'll see me doing that in a moment. Alright, I'm gonna weaken both. A good strategy is to weaken both of them down to half health. And then finish them off once you pass for half health as quickly as possible. Oh look, a third wandering vagrant that's not the boss. It just wandered in. It's just a wandering extra... Extra wandering wandering vagrant. So fun. The game's gotten hard enough that it's making extra bosses for me. Ooh boy! Oh boy! Okay. 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 Ooh, I can, I can open this chest. I'll take that. Oh, I don't have enough money for it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I didn't have enough money for it. They're getting close to half health. They might start sending off that wave. They also, as you can see, have homing projectiles, but they're easily enough avoided if you're fast enough. Okay, this one's past half health. He's probably going to start activating his wave. Oh, here comes the wave. Okay, I got a break line of sight. And boom. Okay, I'm safe. That would have done massive damage to me if I uh, did not hide. 
Oh, cool. We're at 99%, so I can get out of the portal zone. All right, I'm going to snipe. I'm going to snipe now. Just going to snipe until that guy's dead. Snipe, 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 snipe. I snipe at thee. All right, that's one down. It's a fun effect that the like music kind of dulls when you're outside the zone, the portal zone. All right, I think I have enough money for that chest now. I could do that. Ooh, oh, oh, it's a wave. Uh, I'm just gonna back away. If you get far enough away, holy shit! If you get far enough away, you don't take damage, but I wasn't far enough away. Ah, holy crap, that almost killed me. Well, that's a good demonstration of just how ridiculously powerful that shockwave is. All right, I got my shields back. Fungus, save me. All right, healing fungus. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, it was a freaking Oh, siren. Ah, it was a siren. Ooh, ooh, the freaking harpy siren thing. It just did a curving shot around a corner and almost killed me. Holy shit. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Almost died at the end. Give me my fungus back. The fungus among us will Don't don't you try to get me. I'm just trying to heal with my fungus. You sirens are making it hard for me to heal. They won't let me heal. They won't let me heal. Let me heal. Uh, okay, no line of sight here. I'm okay. Okay, full health. Yay, let's go. Let's get out of this little hole. Alright, that's the extra. That's the extra one. That guy is just so extra, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. I'll let this wave go by. Activate Milky Chrysalis! I am flying! Woohoo! Alright. Oh, the Milky Crystal is kind of acts differently. How do I fly up with it? You can do little dashes with the Milky Crystal. Oh, weird. The Milky, the Milky Crystal acts a little differently now. That's cool. I think they tried to make it a little better. Like, it gives you extra mobility. Oh, but the Milky Crystal is significantly shorter now in use. It's significantly shorter in use duration, but also significantly shorter in recharge time. Interesting. The Milky Chrysalis has changed in a number of ways. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Does this count? Doesn't count. Okay. Seems like it radiates from its epicenter. All right. All right. I gotcha. All right. Okay. And now the loot is ours. Extra damage to bosses. Yes. Ooh, this is a good one. Enemies make money for you. Gore's Tome. On kills, chance to drop treasure. I'll activate this drone, whatever it is, missile drone, sure. You can help me out, deal more damage. Alright, I need to get rid of all these extra dudes. I want to... I want to use this 3D printer. Okay, print me out some gas cans. Alright, gas cans, when you kill an enemy, sets enemies on fire. I like this item. It's a good offensive item, and I need offensive items, so I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna go crazy with gas cans, even though... I am losing some nice items. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, shield generator. I'm gonna miss you, other thing. Okay, let's, let's not go too crazy, but I'll, I'll generate several of those. So now I got four gas cans. We're gonna really turn on the gas. Ooh, oh, and wisp. Okay, so the bottled wisp makes enemies explode on death. So now enemies will explode and then they'll cause all other enemies to set on fire and those on fire enemies will explode and cause other enemies to set on fire. So now, now we got a thing going. We got a thing going with our items. A, a really positive thing, where if I kill enemies, it'll just start murdering more enemies, like murder chains. We got murder chains. The old war stealth kits. Yes, it was I. I was in the old wars. The clone wars. The teddy wars. No, teddy, why have I turned you to gasoline? Because gasoline is... Gasoline's what I need. It's what I drink. Because I am one nasty commando. One hardcore commando. Ah, the Sky Meadow. Primordial teleporter aligns with the moon. I have no clue what that means. But I do know there's some sort of. Whoa! 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 Asteroids! Don't do that to me. I know those blue texts mean something. What? I do not know. I do know there's some sort of secret down here. Owie. Like, you can... There is a secret teleporter you can activate down here. I'll activate my flight power. Whoa! Uh, these guys, Elder Lemurians, do not like them. They're powerful. 
these guys can deal a crap load of damage. These guys can kill. I've, I've been killed by and seen players get killed by Elder Lemurians. Frequently. It's not totally not uncommon to get killed by them. Just because they can, again, they're like the Beetle Queen. They have a spread attack. And if you're right at their mouth, right at the, the epicenter of their spread, boy howdy, you just get hosed. What are these? Scrap items. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, stop it! Stop it! Cancel! What the heck? I wasn't ready for a menu? I was not ready for a menu, guys. I was not ready for a menu. Oh, God. That's not good. A bunch of brass monsters just spawned next to me and were murdering me. Oh man, I almost got... Okay, that's a new thing. That's a new thing. That wasn't in the game before. There was a Shrine of the Mountain. I want to activate the Shrine of the Mountain. Oh boy. All right, I'm going to have to recover from this. I nearly just got killed there. I almost got insta scrooged. Alright, there's a Shrine of the Mountain over there, and I want to activate it. What is this? Activate Primordial Teleporter? Uh, not yet. Not yet. So that's a Primordial Teleporter. I think that's new. Okay. First, I want to activate the Shrine of the Mountain. So it's over here. I just got distracted and nearly got killed by the scrap thing. Right? Shrine of the Mountain? I'm pretty sure I saw a Shrine of the Mountain I didn't activate. Or did I activate it? Oh, now I'm getting confused. Oh, well, the Milky Chrysalis I'm a fan of because it moves you fast now. There's the Shrine of the Mountain. Shrine of the Mountain. Okay, so a Shrine of the Mountain doubles the bosses. Double bosses, double rewards. I have invited the challenge of the mountain! Because I am one cocky man. Hopefully I don't regret invoking the, tr the, ch the, 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 ch the challenge of the mountain. Okay, so this primordial teleporter is a different teleporter? Yeah, and it has the challenge of the mountain. You can see the, the mountain symbol above it. I have invoked, invited the challenge of the mountain! Challenge on the mountain, begin! Oh boy, it's magma worms! Oh god, that's a lot of them. Okay, I'm gonna strategically retreat, because magma worms like to eat you. And I'm just gonna fly, fly away, insect man! It's like, in, it's like I'm in Sector X. Ooh. Okay, little scary. At least they're not overloading magma worms. But magma worms definitely like to be up close and personal, and I... I'm going to try to prevent that. Luckily, Milky Chrysalis is not a bad thing to have right now. Boing! See you later, worms! Whoa. Yeah, get them up in the sky. Get them up high in the sky. That's where I'll be able to deal more damage. Wahoo! Okay. Smack me around a bit, I see. I see how it is. My milky chrysalis is getting ready. Definite Beetlejuice vibes. Whoa, hey, Beetlejuice. You do not want to go outside. Oh god, doing the Beetlejuice voice is making my throat very scratchy. Beetlejuice voice is not something I want to do frequently. Oh, oh, whoa, I, I probably want to land or I'll take falling damage. Milky Chrysalis away! Oh, where's the teleporter? Okay, I need to get in the teleporter zone. Eventually. Otherwise, additional enemies will continue to spawn. However, it is a little, ah! Little scary, little scary. Probably should keep backing away. The enemies are faster than I would like them to be. Railgun. Run. Roll. Alright. Just gonna keep pecking at him. If I can detonate enemies, I can cause chain detonations. That's our setup. I'm gonna make it happen. If I can just hit with my damn railgun. Okay. Five seconds of Milky Chrysalis. I'm a little worried about where I'm at, but I've got an escape plan. That's called Milky Chrysalis. Gonna hold on to it for now. I don't need a Milky Chrysalis just yet. Oh, ooh, I just took a big hit. Old War. Oh, God! Milky Chrysalis away! What just hit me? What hit me? What hit me so damn hard? Oh, was it the Elder Wisp? 
I don't know what it was, but God, it almost killed me, and I thought I was safe, but I, I was not. I was the opposite of safe. I was in grave, grave danger. Okay. Okay, can I land and activate my, my shroom power? Mushroom power activates! Uh-oh. Mushroom power! Too late! Too late, mushroom power! Run! Don't have time for mushroom power right now. Keep running and gunning. I don't have time to get in the teleporter. I have no idea what this primordial teleporter is, but it sounds cool. Whee! Oh, that's a nice way to run away from your opponents. Okay, cool. That'll get me some distance on those worms. A little bit. A little distance, at least. Whoa, whoa! Red brass contraption! Oh, God! It hit me! Oh god, the red brass contraption hit me, I'm gonna die, am I? Oh, the fire, the bleeding, the fire damage almost murdered me. I almost died from that, I almost died from that. I need to hide, I need to hide, I need to hide. Oh god, flaming bla bra brass contraption. Okay, okay, am I safe right now? I think I'm safe right now. Mushroom power activate. Any day now, mushrooms. I Oh no, I sold my mushrooms, what am I thinking? I sold my damn mushrooms. That's right, you fool, you sold them. You sold them to a machine for gasoline! Oh, that's right, that's one of the things I got rid of! Oh, you fool! And I'm sitting here waiting for the- No wonder, it's like, the mushrooms are taking longer to activate than usual. Just a strange thought. Okay, I need to get rid of that flaming brass contraption. I absolutely need to get rid of that bastard. He is just terrible. The Elder Wisps are bad, this is a lot of bad stuff. Gotta go, see ya! Oh, cool. Whenever you hear that ticking noise, I'm dealing damage. That was a whole bunch of ticks. That means my, my flame damage went off. Oh, there's that brass contraption again. He's just... He could kill me. He could kill me. The brass contraption does insane damage per hit. They're easy to evade, but if they hit you, it hurts so bad. And I hate them. I hate brass contraptions. As far as normal enemies, they're just murder. Just hold it together. Just hold it together. I know you're being chased by a lot of death, but just hold it together. Oh, oh, my razor wire went off. Cool. Alright. Back up. Alright, watch for additional threats. I've got to murder additional threats as they come. And be aware of them. Alright, am I in the zone? Not yet. Okay, I gotta get in the zone. Oh, it's the I'm coming for you difficulty. Every time the difficulty increases, my opponents get more damage and more health. Oh no, oh, it hurts so bad now. I gotta fly away again. Fly away in Sector X. I'll just snipe, I'll just snipe, I'll just snipe, I'll just snipe. God, I just, I don't have enough damage potential. I do not have enough damage potential. Hopefully I can remedy this. I just need to get chain destruction going on these enemies. What is- oh, oh, hi, hi! Good to see you, good to see you, extra boss. Suddenly cropping up. Oh god, good to see you, oh god, oh god, oh god. Good to see so many enemies appearing next to me, great. Oh, I shouldn't have run this way, it's past all the enemies! I could get murdered, I could get gibbed! But I just want to get back in the zone. Alright, I'm back in the zone, I'm back in the zone. Ice Wisp, Ice Wisp, Ice Wisp! Okay. Alright, alright. The magma worms are hurting, I might have even killed a few magma worms. If I can start killing enemies, I'll chain them. Oh god, who's throwing- who's throwing brass balls at me? I can't- I can't take the brass balls. Die, 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 die! Oh god, it's the parents. The giant parents of the wisps! Those are big- those are big, big monsters. Oh, I think I beat the boss! The boss has been defeated. Okay, now I just gotta- I just gotta worry about that devil brass contraption. Because it is a monster. That's my new boss right there. That flaming brass contraption. That can just goose me. That can just goose me straight out. Just straight up kill me. Ooh. Oh god. And I do not like... I do not like enemies that can just straight out kill me. That is... That is not allowed. Okay, I gotta get a... I gotta get a chain destruction going. Just gotta pick off one of these enemies. Just any one. Just any one of them. They're wounded. And we 
you can just chain this destruction. Okay, I'm gonna fly up. I'm gonna fly up. I'm gonna need to back up. I need to back out of this area. It's getting too hot. The zone's getting too hot. I'm gonna have to be very strategic. I'm just, I'm tougher than I am strong right now, and this is the way we're gonna have to play things. Okay, it might take some falling damage here. Oh no, we're good, we're good. Okay. We are good. Okay, I just gotta kill something. I just gotta kill something. I just gotta kill something, goddammit. You, you, wisp. Or you. No, okay. One of these wisps. God, they're all really tough enemies. I just gotta, I just gotta knock out one of them to get the kill chain going. That's the problem with my kill chain strategy is I don't... It, it requires weak enemies. This game is spawning nothing but the toughest of the tough right now. Alright, alright. We're getting threateningly close to ha 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 difficulty. And that's not good. Ooh, I killed something. Now everything's on fire. It's good news. Good news, everybody! The enemies are spontaneously dying! All that gasoline I bought is paying off now. Okay. Boink! And if I can get back to the portal, I can stop every everything from spawning and allow myself to purchase stuff. They'll keep Oh! Oh god, it's him! It's him! It's him! It's the the frickin' fatal one! Oh god, I can't, I can't, I can't be near him. I can't be near him. He was stuck and hiding near this po point. Oh god. I'm calling him the fatal one because he is just... He can kill me. He is my biggest fear and source of damage and, and threat. I must eliminate that threat. Or at least distract him far enough for, from the portal before I can safely enter it. You must die. Welcome. You must die. Link, good to see you. You must die. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, other brass balls also could be deadly, but... Alright. We're back in. We're back in the zone. Oh, Link, so good to see you. You must die. Oh god. Oh god. You must die. I love that Wand of Gamelon playthrough. Oh wait, no, it wasn't... Wait, that wasn't Wand of Gamelon, it was, uh... When the Game Grumps did... Well, the, the Philips CDI games. There's something about those Philips CDI games. They're just really, like, perfect natural comedy. Whoa. Elder Lemurian. Okay, so we got a lot of fire chaining going. You're just hearing constant damage noises, and that's awesome. I can just kill enemies, and then spawn more, and then those enemies will cause enemies to get weakened, and then I can kill those enemies, and... Okay, I'm gonna wrap around again, and finish off the portal so I can actually get out of here. Ah! Oh god, I got hit by a brass ball! I'm getting too comfortable. We're in ha 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 difficulty! Oh god, no wonder even the normal, even normal brass contraptions can almost goose me now. That's not a good feeling. I gotta complete the port. I gotta complete the teleporter. Okay, so. Where is the fatal one? I must locate and destroy him. I cannot feel safe unless I do this. Or at least know where he is. Alright. I can at least be safe over here. But where is he? Where is the one I refer to as the fatal one? Ooh, ooh, power ups. Right. The power ups from defeating the boss. I can at least get these. Give me those. Molten perforator. Okay. Chance of fire. On hit fire magma balls. Ow! Ow! Oh god! What am I being hit by? I'm not sure. Okay, beam. There's new enemies, so I don't know all the effects. Okay, so I got those. Those will help assist me. Those will assist me. It's 97%. If I can just get in the zone for three more percents, then they'll stop generating. Yes! Okay. The enemies have stopped generating, and I can buy everything on the map. Oh, it's you. You. Okay, cool. Now I can go buy things. Yes. I can power up. Oh god. Okay, spend, spend, spend. Don't get killed. Spend, spend, spend. Spend, spend, spend. We did it. We did it. I don't know how much further this playthrough is going to be going, but we did it. Okay. Just buy things. Do not die. Paul's goat hoof. Wonderful. Okay, they use a usable item, but I'm gonna save my money. I already bought that one. Apparently, I did. Right. 
Go in Sector X! What do we got here? A printer for sticky bombs. That's a pretty cool one. I'm gonna ignore it for now, though. Uh, what else? Okay, crowbar. Cool. Alright, I got $2,000 left. Okay, little capsule I didn't open, right? Yep, that just is a little extra money, but I'll open it anyways. Uh, might not have been worth my time, strictly. Shield generator. Don't need those. I need more attack power. Although, really, I just need all the help I can get. But that's neither here nor there. Or maybe that's just everywhere. All right, activate a turret, because it's just something to spend my money on. And it will distract and save my life. Potentially. Distract enemies and save my life. Okay, open chest there. That's fine. Alright, die, stragglers! Anything else? Anything else? I think I've got most of the chests. Here's one. Oh, there's another thing up there. Okay, there's another thing up there, but I think I've got most things. I'm risking falling damage! Roll! Okay. Whew. I just never know exactly how far the wings are going to carry me. I thought I saw a thing up here. I thought I saw a multi-shop. Besides that chest. Didn't I see a multi-shop? I didn't, but here's a thing. Awesome. Here's a thing I missed. $500 extra chest. Or a better chest. Old War Stealth Kit number two. And a rusty key. Which can get us more items, potentially. Okay, so... If I enter this blue portal, I'll still be going to my destination. I'll just be going to an extra shop. Oh, what's this? Ah, a red printer. Okay, well, I didn't notice that till it was too late, but I don't have red items to exchange, so it's fine. So welcome to the Hidden Realm, the Bazaar Between Time. This is where you can buy things. Lunar items, that's right. I don't want to buy lunar items. Or, you can spend your items to exchange. I can sacrifice three items to make a wisp bottle. Oh, and the shopkeeper now talks to me. Hello, ancient newt trader creature. I do not trust other elder newts or Lemurians, but you I will. He talks now and gestures. Fun. All right, so they've added some to him. Oh. The, uh, what is it, 77 leaf clover? Makes all your proccing items proc more frequently. That could be worth it. It also could be worth it to sacrifice three items, but what three items? Do I sacrifice three white items? And it turns it into a wisp bottle? Wisp bottles ex make enemies explode, so I'll do this. Okay, three, two gas cans and a knife turn into a willow wisp bottle, making enemies explode bigger. And then I'll take items and make it into a, a clover. Should I do that? That's five items, though. No, five items are not worth a right item, I don't think. Or are they? It's a clover, though. Uh, I changed my mind. It is. It is. It stacks with everything. I'll do it. Fine. Ow, that's painful. Oh, it took some of my green items. Oh, it takes five green items. Ow, it takes five green items. No, that's not worth it. Okay. So, three white items gives you a green item. Five green items gives you a red item. Don't like that exchange rate. But I did get the clover. So, that's cool. Now my items will activate more frequently. Oh, whoops! That's right, there's a secret realm if I, do, if I dove down. I didn't go to the secret realm, but... Oh, well, I'm going to another place. The Distant Roost? I thought I went through a primordial po portal. Did that... Did going through the por blue portal actually change that? Oh, cool! Actually, the Molten Claw makes people... Oh, maybe the primordial po portal makes you loot or something. Whereas I could have gone to the ends of the game or something. Huh, I wonder. Because now this game is supposed to have like an end or something, but you can still do endless. Maybe I just effectively selected endless mode and didn't realize it. Intri intriguing. I don't know, but those Molten Claws are making me uh, explode enemies in a lot. The Molten Claws I got, plus the Clovers, I'm making enemies explode in a lot. I have a lot more attack power now. 
the story on attack power is a lot different for me. And I'll take one of these because this gives me more attack power. It is the focus crystal. Deals bonus damage to nearby enemies. I'll only take one because that's better for melee characters, but hey. Ooh, ooh, ah! Don't like golems and their beams. Alright, so this, the story on my whole damage dealing thing is much better, I would say, than it used to be. I have a lot of special effects. Ooh, guillotines. I like these. I will trade my shield for a guillotine, yes. Guillotines deal extra damage to special opponents. Which is very useful, the elite opponents. This includes elite bosses. And so it can be very useful in certain cases. Very useful indeed. Okay, here's the exit. Is that a... No, that wasn't the lockbox. Okay. Well, looks like we're going to be going for another loop, and then we'll go to the exit of the game? End of the game? Or something? I'm not sure. Ooh, ooh. Next time I get to that uh, last stage, I won't do the primordial teleporter, that's for sure. Okay, okay. I see your game. I see your game. Triple Wandering Vagrants, it shouldn't be so bad. I'm just gonna have to break line of sight when they get angry. As you can see, the game does not get any more... It doesn't go to another difficulty beyond ha 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 ha. But ha ha ha, this difficulty is still getting incrementally more difficult. In fact, if anything, the game's getting more difficult more quickly now when there's no longer, like... defined stages for the, for the difficulties, if you know what I mean. Or at least it seems that way. Not sure. I mean, there's still like... I'm not sure if the increments are as well defined or whatever, but... Yeah. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad being at ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha difficulty. We'll just put it that way. Ooh boy, we're getting the chain destruction. Oh boy! Oh, I got a break line of sight right now! Okay, we're okay. Alright, I gotta get distance. I gotta get distance. They're gonna be doing that way more frequently, and I gotta get distance. That's some fun magical. <laughs> it's like this classical. Uh, this classic magic wand noise going off. Bling, bling. <laughs> I think that's going off for the, the magma worm stuff. I don't know what's making the magic wand noise, but I like it. It's funny. It reminds me of like old 90s Flash websites. Bring. Getting weird, weird vibes. It's making me laugh slightly. It's like, oh, good old magic wand.png is suddenly showing up. Magic wand.png has joined the chat. Or would it be like magic wand.mp3 or something? PNG is an image format. What am I talking about? Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm having to hide. Oh, it gets real dangerous when you have to hide behind a rock, but then there's a ton of enemies with that rock behind that rock with you. Then it becomes a, a real Sophie's choice, if you know what I mean. Which, which is going to murder me faster? This horde of enemies behind the rock or getting out from behind the rock and facing the music of the giant jellyfish? Oh, I think it's... Oh, it's the four-leaf clover activating that's making the magical wand noise, isn't it? It's the... Oh, look at the Irish going off! Ahoy, ti toy Ahoy, ti hoy ahoy, ti hoy Ooh, ow, fall damage! Oh, I messed up there. Ooh, oh, so I heard the noise of a particularly fearsome opponent. A special type of elite. I forget that what they're called, but... It's this type of green crystal enemy that prevents you from healing yourself and does massive damage to you. They start showing up really late game. And I feel like they're kind of there to end your run. They're designed to end your run, but 
Whenever you hear that bell-like noise, that brrrr, that noise that you just heard, that's one of these really nasty elite enemies showing up. And, uh, they're something to be reckoned with. And basically, they're there in case you have, like, a setup that heals you, like, you heal like crazy and are, like, almost invulnerable. Then that healing prevention status effect will, uh, will stop that. It'll stop that right in its tracks, that kind of setup. Uh, I gotta, gotta get us to 90%. I gotta clear this portal. Oh god, freaking jellyfish just, uh, just detonated on me. Oh god, elite jellyfish. Oh, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. Oh, the burning killed me. Oh, the burning killed me. Oh, jellyfish used to not be as bad, but th they did. Killed by the planet. No, it was a jellyfish. It was just one jellyfish. I didn't expect... Those jellyfish didn't used to be so bad. Now they're much worse. Well, I got the Godspeed thing. Let's see what I unlocked. Loadout. Slide on the ground for a short distance. Tactical slide. You can fire while sliding. Let's check that out real quick. Oh, I didn't kill a overloading worm though. Oh, that's cool. Now, it looks like you can kind of do it more often than the roll. Or no, it's about the same. What's the downside? I'm not sure what the downside is. But, anyways. This has been an hour-long video. A good reintroduction to Risk of Rain 2. Thanks for watching it with me. Or, <laughs> thanks for joining me, I mean. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. And thanks for watching the video, of course. And... Yeah, well, it looks like my controller activated by accident. But yeah, uh, thanks for, well, yeah, thanks for uh, liking and subscribing and doing everything you do. Or we'll make sure, make sure to like and subscribe and do all that awesome stuff that helps me out. I really appreciate all of it. And, uh, com yeah, comments. And I'll see you guys next time for more Risk of Rain 2. I'll play more of this soon. I'm going to do a run as a loader soon because I know I'll get to the end as a loader. Or maybe the Acrid. Oh, I'm gonna be doing all sorts of all sorts of things. Oh, alternate game modes. What's that? Oh, the Prismatic Trials and Eclipse. Advanced game mode that adds stacking challenge modifiers each time you beat the game. Oh, that's kind of fun. Your Eclipse level permanently increases with that survivor up to a maximum of eight times. Starts at the baseline monsoon difficulty got it okay interesting and then the prismatic trials they weren't fully implemented before but to beat the trials you must break time crystals yeah top 10% of 10% of players will be rewarded with literally nothing for now it's just a fun thing to do okay well that's th th that's fun things to do all right, so yeah, the Prismatic Trials is actually basically the same. I was wondering if they were offering a reward for it nowadays, but yeah, this has been Risk of Rain. It's been a blast. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm still not that great with the Commando, but I feel like the Commando is pretty hard to use, actually, in some ways. Or really hard to go out of control with. He's, he's pretty good, but his attack power is decidedly lacking. So I could have done more to compensate with my setup. And so I kind of adjusted a bit late, but that's fine. It was still really good runs. I mean, I got to a loop, so I just call that a victory semi. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks again. I'm making this a long outro, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody!